We joke about how everything is racist, but you have no idea how absolutely insane it's gotten. No, seriously, you don't understand. Being on time, delayed gratification, the nuclear family, the scientific method, national parks, car accidents, the body mass index, math, lunch, coffee, dogs, black holes, hating body odor, football, <laughs> Deers, cameras, bikes, hiking, Thanksgiving, crypto, reading and writing, resumes, supermarkets, butter, rice, syrup, enjoying the rain, sleeping, shark week, <laughs> gas stoves, eating meat, and <laughs> I could literally go on like this for at least 10 more minutes. But we'll just go ahead and add tree mascots to the schizophrenic list. Mark have been left in ruins. Good. God. Yes, that's right. A tree-themed Florida college mascot called the Mighty Banyans, referring to a massive banyan tree on campus, is apparently racist, according to this unhinged woke supremacist named Robin Williams, who's a board member for the Sarasota Charlotte Democratic Progressive Caucus, because of course she is. And I'm going to tell you all about it right after this quick capitalism break with Noble Gold. Reign and wealth like King Charles with a gold IRA from Noble Gold Investments. Just as King Charles's magnificent gold crowns symbolize wealth and power, a gold IRA can fortify your own financial kingdom. Imagine the confidence that comes with a retirement backed by a tangible, proven asset gold. An asset that's not at the mercy of unpredictable market swings. A crown may not be included, but isn't a future free of financial stress a worthy throne? Like royalty, enjoy the luxury of choice. Gold, silver, platinum, or palladium. The realm is yours to command. Fend off concerns about economic downturns and let your wealth thrive with the timeless security of precious metals. This month, the first solid quarter ounce gold standard bullion coin ever issued with Charles III's image can and be yours with your own qualifying gold IRA or 401k rollover with $50,000 or higher. You can't go wrong with Noble Gold Investments. So call Noble Gold Investments at 877-646-5347 to get started or visit noblegoldinvestments.com. That's noblegoldinvestments.com. Find the link in the description, pin comment, and if you call, make sure to tell them Drone Tech sent you. And remember, there's always risk in investment, and there are no guarantees of any kind. Down 911. Tell the police to get up here quick. Somebody's about to get killed. For an educator, this is indeed a teachable moment. <laughs> Albeit a disturbing one. <laughs> She's a teacher. Of course. This is all starting to make more sense. The state of Florida is the state, uh, is the place where woke goes to die. The governor's war on woke hits home at a Bay Area college. Our children are being made pawns to this man's political aspirations. Some parents and students with big questions. Tonight, 8 on your side, investigator Masa Saidi takes their concerns to one of the most controversial new board appointees. What could students expect? We want to go back to the founding principles of this college. <laughs> At its June 1st meeting, the majority on the Governor Ron DeSantis appointed new College of Florida Board of Trustees rammed through the approval of a new college mascot, the Mighty Banyans, <laughs> to replace the longtime null set. What is that? What the fuck is that? As the article mentioned, they replaced this mascot, known as Null Set, or literally nothing. Ah, oh, gay. So Ron DeSantis went into this woke indoctrination camp and kicked out all the left-wing extremists on the board, which he can do as governor, and appointed six new trustees, which includes the great Christopher Rufo. No wonder the communists are now calling a mascot chosen by them racist. Why not? As I just showed you, the cult-initiated rubes will 
believe that anything is racist. Now, this is where it gets really hilarious, as she appears to project her own racist thoughts to anyone with even a cursory knowledge of racial stereotypes. <laughs> the new mascot should have set off alarms. <laughs> It turns out the original student version of the mascot was very different in appearance and was unlikely to have raised any concerns. <laughs> Yet, the interim president and the new college board of trustees, which includes culture warrior Christopher Rufo among its members, <laughs> supported and chosen altered mascot that depicts a tree that has been anthropomorphized to closely resemble an angry, threatening brown individual. <laughs> Are you serious right now, bro? Who knew that trees being brown is actually racist? <laughs> So apparently, the original tree didn't have a face, but then the racist added eyes and a mouth, which clearly makes it an angry black person. Can't you see it? Do you see? Mrs. Leeds reborn. Do you see? Please, no. All right, folks, I hope you enjoyed that. If you did, please hit that like button, share, subscribe, and make sure to leave a comment to vent some of those frustrations. Thanks a lot. I'll see you all in the next one.